Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.43 in the evening in California on Thursday, January 21st, 2021. January 21st of 2021. All right, we're going to take a look at the quakes that have happened during the last uh, 24 hours. And then we're going to go straight to the warning for Los Angeles. Um, First of all, we had a 7.0 uh, south of the Philippines, and that one occurred out in the water, so no damage there. 53 quakes, 53 earthquakes here in the last uh, 24 hours, significant quakes around the world. We're going straight to the warning and straight to the forecast here. Um, we have adopted a new forecast model, and we're going to use that for about 12 uh, major cities. And then uh, tomorrow we'll add another 12. So we'll have 24 total by tomorrow night. And we're gonna start with Los Angeles. Looking for a 6.3 earthquake is now likely northwest of Los Angeles within 50 miles of Simi Valley on the 23rd, most likely in the evening of the 23rd. It can happen uh, anytime on uh, January 23rd, which is Saturday, most likely during the evening. So once again, 6.3 earthquake is likely in Northwest Los Angeles on January 23rd, most likely in the evening of the 23rd, but anytime on January 23rd, Saturday. San Francisco Bay got a 3.6 on this peak in risk and then a 4.2 on um, when this peaked on the 16th. Uh, we had a small 3.1 on this peak here and the risk is rising on the 25th, and we'll see where that goes on the 26th. Um, this Willowbrook quake happened on this small peak on the, on the 20th, and a big quake coming up in Northwest Los Angeles on January 23rd. Be sure to warn your friends and family, and we'll get back to that in just a second. <clears throat> Let's look at the um, forecast for Anchorage, Alaska. 4.2 hit on when this was uh, peaking in risk on the 18th. And now we're on the 21st. So we have a risk of about 70% on the 22nd and then small uh, spikes in risk after that. <clears throat> Athens, Greece. We had a, a strong spike in risk here on, on the 12th, which produced a 5.2 and about four or five different 4.0, 4.2, 4.5 on the 12th. And then this one produced a 4.2 on this peak. And this peak produced a 4.4 in Albania, which is close to uh, Greece, Athens, Greece. And this one's coming up for tomorrow, 76%. So a 4.0 to 4.5 is likely uh, on the 22nd in and around Athens, Greece. All right, we're going to Naples, uh, Italy. Naples, here it is. And uh, this peak in risk uh, produced a 4.4, and this one a 4.4. 87% risk on January 24th. 4.0 is possible in around uh, Naples on January 24th. Quito, Ecuador. Uh, we have a 93% risk on January 24th, which could produce about a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake around the Quito, Ecuador area on January 24th. San Jose, Costa Rica. This large peak in risk here produced a 5.9 west of there uh, near Guatemala. And this 5.2 hit on the south of Panama uh, southeast of uh, Costa Rica on the 16th, 4.2 right next door in Nicaragua on the 20th, and 50% risk on January 25th, which could produce about a 4.0 around San Jose, Costa Rica. Puerto Rico, we had a, a strong peak in risk on the 13th, which produced a 3.8. And this peak on the uh, January 23rd, late on the 23rd into the 24th, could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 around San Juan, Puerto Rico. 
Santiago, Chile is um, coming up here in a second. There it is. 53% risk on the 25th. So 40% on the 24th and then rising to 53% on January 25th. Uh, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible around Santiago during that time. Seattle, Washington, we had a 2.5 when it uh, maxed out here. These are dip calibrated a little bit differently than the ones in Los Angeles. So, um, but we will keep an eye on anything if, if something happens for uh, Seattle. But uh, this produced a 2.5, 69% on the January 24th, and a 3.0 is possible on that day. Taipei, Taiwan. And I don't believe that's, well, actually there's a different map. And that's not the one we're looking for. So we'll go to Tokyo. Tokyo, uh, the risk is 22nd. Actually, it's in the morning of the 22nd. So the risk is falling. This produced a 4.4. And the risk starts rising again on the 26th of January. Once again, we'll have uh, about 12 other forecast updated with the new forecast model uh, tomorrow evening. But this is the uh, situation here tonight. On Saturday, sometime on Saturday, a strong earthquake is likely northwest of Los Angeles. Uh, 6.3 is likely northwest of LA on January 23rd, Saturday. Be sure to uh, warn your friends and family about that. Be prepared for that. And uh, San Francisco is kind of quiet until the 25th. But LA, also down near uh, El Centro, which is near the Salton Sea, there's a big spike in risk there on the 23rd and the 24th. So this quake could hit uh, anywhere in Southern California, but most likely uh, northwest of LA on January 23rd. Um, January 23rd, northwest of Los Angeles, around 50 miles, within 50 miles of uh, Simi Valley, California. We'll give you another update tomorrow night, which is uh, Friday night, and um, we'll give you any updates and also another 12 major cities around the world. We're working on with a new format, uh, new forecast model, and we'll get that out tomorrow night as soon as possible. Thanks again for stopping by. And again, we're located at quakeprediction.com, theearthquakechannel.com. And uh, the warning is for LA, it's uh, uh, Saturday. 6.3 earthquake is likely northwest of LA on Saturday. So stay safe. And we'll talk to you again uh, Friday night about the same time, around uh, 9 or 10 in the evening, uh, Pacific time. And we will... Uh, Keep you updated and keep you warned here at quakeprediction.com. 15 years of research and now about 147,000 followers on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again to all you folks. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe to YouTube and we'll keep you updated. And we'll talk to you tomorrow night.